Okay, so now let's look at the graph for other trigger functions. So the first one, which is y equals <coughs> tangent x. Okay, and we know that tangent x is equal to what? Equal to the relation, which is sine x over cosine x, right? So one thing is when cosine x equals zero, when cosine x equals zero, tangent x is undefined, right? Because the denominator equals zero. So when the cosine x would be zero, the cosine x would be zero would be the odd multiple or the multiple of pi over two. Right. So when cosine equals zero, cosine equals zero at uh, pi over two, three pi over two, five pi over two, seven pi over two. So it's, it's odd, odd multiple of pi over two. Right. If you write this one, this one would be can be written as it's the pi over two plus n pi. Okay. Pi over two plus n pi. <coughs> so it's. It's always on the y-axis, the terminal side. So here n could be 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 and so on. So we know that if the 0 is for the denominator, it will form the, a function, uh, it will form a vertical asymptote, right? The vertical asymptote. So we have infinitely many vertical asymptotes, right? Second, when x sine x equals zero, then this tangent equals zero, right? Tangent x equals zero. So in other words, y equals zero. So what what time the sine when the sine will be zero? Uh, so it would be a multiple of pi, right? At the end, zero pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, and so on. So x equals n times pi would be the zeros for the tangent, okay? So here n equals zero plus or minus one plus or minus two and so on. And more thing, and then we have tangent of negative x would be equal to negative tangent x because sine is an odd function and the cosine is an even function so tangent is an odd function so it's odd function so that means it will symmetric with respect to the origin so now let's look at the graph for the tangent function so here is the graph so the first thing we need to find the the what the uh, Vertical asymptote, right? It's at uh, uh, two pi, a uh, pi over two plus n pi, n pi. So pi over two. So this is the one thing n equals zero. So this is a pi over two. This is a pi over two. Then the next one is the uh, when n equals negative one. So it's negative pi over two. And we have negative pi over two. And when x equals one, which is the three pi over two. This is three pi over two. And we have the negative three pi over two. Okay, so you can see that the graph will be separated by the this vertical asymptote. So this is a chord for the uh, from uh, between two vertical asymptotes we call a cycle, right? This is a chord. This part is from negative pi over two to pi. Over. This is called the principal cycle. Cycle. Principal cycle. Okay. So the graph will be, it will go through the zero, zero point, right? Uh, n equals zero, so x equals zero, uh, so y equals zero. So 
And we also have which is called halfway point, which is the halfway between the zero and the the vertical asymptote, right? This is pi over four. So tangent pi over four with 40 degree, we know it's equal to what? Equal to one. So this is a one. So you have this point. And this is another, this is the halfway point, right? We'll give it another color. This is called a halfway point. So we use this point to control the the shape, right? The shape. And we have another half halfway point which is equal to negative pi over four. Negative pi over four equals negative one, right? Because it's symmetric with respect to the origin. So the graph will look like sorry I didn't do that well. Vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote. Okay. So this is the the graph. Right. This is the center point. This is called the center point for each cycle. This is called the center point. Okay, so the graph will actually will be repeated for each cycle. So on this way, here is the center point, and the graph will look like this one. Okay, and here this is like center point, so the graph will look like this one. So the graph will be repeated, so here is the graph for three cycles, right? So the graph will be repeated. So, so you can see the period, right? The period is what? Is pi, right? The period is pi from negative pi over two to pi over two. So its period is pi. Okay, so now let's look at, so we will focus the most time, we will focus on the this principal cycle, right? Because other cycles can be just be repeated. This principal cycle. Okay, principal cycle. So here now let's look at the from the graph we can see that the domain. Domain is all the x value except at the vertical asymptotes, right? So the domain is the set of x such that x is not equal to two pi over two plus n pi. Okay. And the range, range, you can see that the range, all the y values will point on the curve, right? So the range is from negative infinity to infinity. And the principal cycle, we have C cycle, which is the from negative pi over two to pi over two, right? So we have infinitely many vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptote. So these asymptotes are x equals pi over two plus n pi. So here n, n equals zero plus minus one plus minus two and so on. Right. And for each cycle we notice that the center point is always be the x intercepts, right? For each <coughs> cycle the center point is the x-intercept and uh, 
at the halfway point points right tangent takes the value plus or minus one right this is the halfway points and this is the halfway point so here is the this would be the halfway points and this one would be the halfway points okay and on each another thing is very important on each cycle the tangent function is one to one function right if you draw a horizontal line for each cycle it only intersects the curve at one point for each cycle right and the we also know that the tangent of negative x equals negative tangent x. So that means it's an odd function, so it's symmetric. Symmetric about the origin. Okay. So now let's look at the graph. Based on this basic graph, we want to look at y equals a times tangent bx minus c. Okay, as we talked for the sine and cosine. So a is called the amplitude, right? It's still called the amplitude. And b will affect the period right so here the period i should one thing i should mention that the period is i forgot to man the period is pi okay from negative pi over to two pi so period is pi so now and the c will control the horizontal shift right horizontal shift So now let's look at this one, the example. So we, we know that the period for this one, like we did for the sine and cosine. Sine and cosine, the period is 2 pi. So if you have b times x, so the new period is 2 pi over b, right? So now our period for tangent is pi. So the new period would be 2 pi oh sorry not 2 pi it's the the period of tangent pi over b so this is the period okay so now let's look at one example that y equals 2 times tangent x over 2 so the first thing is we need to determine the principal circle right the principal circle the principal circle then we can just extend to other so uh, sorry the principal cycle right then we can extend to other cycles so let's look at the principal cycles so we know that the tangent of the principal cycle which is from negative sorry from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 right if you treat this one as a variable so tangent of that variable this variable should be between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 this is the principal cycle so if we multiply by 2 right so x is between negative pi to pi so this is the principal this is the principal cycle for y equals 2 times tangent x over 2 instead of negative pi over 2 to pi right so our new period right from the principal cycle we know the length is 2 pi so our period we can also see our period which is pi over b which is pi over one half right one half so this is two pi though so they have the same yeah they 
consistent with each other, right? So our the principal cycle tells you that the left asymptote, the left vertical asymptote, asymptote. which is x equals negative pi. The right vertical asymptote, which is x equals pi. <coughs> OK. So the center point is still the center of from negative pi of to two pi. So the center point is still zero zero, right? Center point is still zero zero. And the halfway point halfway points so the halfway point is from zero, the middle point from zero to pi, which is pi over two, right? So this is the, when x equals pi over two, then tangent two times x over two, which is equal to two times pi over four. So this is This is what? This is two, right? So one, one halfway point is pi over two to two. Another way, another half point with x equals, which is between zero, the middle point between zero and negative pi over two. So the halfway point is x equals negative, when x equals negative pi over two. So it's two tangent of x over two, which can be written as two times tangent negative pi over four. We know the function is all the functions, so it's equal to two tangent of pi over four. Pi over four is equal to what? Equal to one, so it's negative two. So another one is negative pi over two to negative two. So now we can sketch the graph. <clears throat> okay, so this is the pi, negative pi, and the pi, and this is the center, and this is the middle point, one, two, right? So center is here, so this is the pi over two, so it's equal to two, right? It's equal to two, right? Yes. And the negative pi over two, it's equal to negative two, so it's here. So the graph will looks like so the shape are almost the same, except you just stretch vertically and uh, and stretch horizontally, right? So the period becomes two pi. <clears throat> 